2014 as you get a look at Levi's Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store. Between the Dublin Shamrocks taking on the San Francisco 49ers. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. They go play action here on first down. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one goes for 30 yards. I've heard a quick strike offenses, but this has taken that to the extreme. I mean, the very first snap of the ball game, normally you're thinking, let's get our quarterback comfortable and get him into the flow of the game. But not here. They come out attacking from the outset, and it pays off in a big way. I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Here we go. Second and six. Seven Pirates. Seven Pirates. Let's go. They'll set up to throw. 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 23 yards to pick up there. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Second and a couple. 60 bucks, yeah. 60 bucks. 60 Mavericks. 60 bucks. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. 19 tight, 19 tight. Out of the gun now on third down. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Niners will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. First down and 10 at their own 18 yard line. Here we go, here we go. They start to drive with White. And not a whole lot to speak of there, so bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, this defense for the Niners, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for them to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for them to escape the pocket and run. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. the play fake. Kim, he's going to look deep for more. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the 49ers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. When you look at this defense, 
This crew against the pass, it's been a real struggle. Second from the bottom in the NFL, number 31. Theories abound. People have opinions. But too often for this team this season, it's been the big play that's done them in. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. No gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The Niners in 9-2 and two to start play, and they come in on the heels of yet another victory. That ran their win streak, Charles, up to seven now. And I think that that last win, that established them and stamped them to me as Super Bowl front runners. They're playing with extreme confidence, and you need that in order to go all the way. They all the way. Inside the 15 before they drop it. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. That's complete left side to gray. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. the gun, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And across the goal line into the end zone. Touchdown for the Niners. A great play there. With his 19th touchdown, his second of the game. And the 49ers lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Moody good with the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Dublin with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Back to throw. Kid. Javon Hargrave make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Second and ten. Looking to throw. Kid. And he'll be taken down at the 36-yard line. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Back to throw. 
kid. Looking left side, and he's got a man in. That's right. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They're going to try and throw. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Now back to the ground game with White. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Looking to throw. Kid. Here's White. They set up the screen. A gain of seven that time, second goal. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. They'll go with a keeper, and he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Shamrocks have cut it back within a score. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make our score 14-7. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December left. More football. We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a 40 yards first down by a good couple of yards as they get three there on fourth and inches. Well, partner, that was a heck of a play right there because there is no chance that he was the primary receiver on that play. Definitely checked it down to him and just said, please, help us out, make a play. And he does and delivers a first down. Taking a shot for Samuel. Well, that's caught at the 25. Touchdown. Debo Samuel. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Niners have taken a two touchdown lead now. Moody good with the extra point. And it's now 21 to 7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Off play action. Kid. Throw is incomplete. Fair 
to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke out the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. To throw on third down, Kid. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So, to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Now, what a first down pick up of eight. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll look to throw now on first down. And got his man complete. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Quick slant, Dotson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Back to throw. Kid. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the Niners will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45 yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So give them two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Ready, set. This is second and eight. 
Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. Now a timeout called with three seconds to go. And, of course, they're in field goal range in the final seconds of this first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And his kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. So after a very one-sided first half, what will the second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports? On the return, here's Tompkins. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points okay, on the board. Ready? The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Rolling to his right. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. First down, here's White. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. This pass hauled in by Dotson. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. They'll run for it. This is White. And a great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps them pick up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Operating from the gun. Kid. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Second and ten here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. Defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Kid. That is caught. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Here's the option. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Now they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost go, a good go. psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards <laughs> against us. No way we need to take that one. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. 
gave him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And the 49ers are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though, that shot at six ended in an interception. And we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. 19 light. Ready, ready. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Connects with Kittle underneath. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And they're going to speed things up here. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Brandon Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, 91 yards. And the 49ers are able to extend their lead. The extra point try now for Moody. PAT would extend their league, but there is a flag on the play. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Mitch Wisniewski to kick off for San Francisco. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Opting to run again here with White. They'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw him right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Off the play fake. Kid. They'll fire deep looking for more. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the Niners will take over here at their own 12-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and nine. They'll look to throw here. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. 
He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. That's taken it around the 40. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. At their own 42-yard line. Let's go now. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now a second and ten. To throw again. Kid. And the Niners get there and bring him down. And go on the books is a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Back to throw. Kid. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be fourth down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Okay, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Rig alert, rig alert. Buffalo 18. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Now a throw here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late point. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now a second and two. Read option, this is White. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Rashad White, his eighth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Shamrocks get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And we know they won't get their names in the stat sheet, but the offensive line has to get all the credit for that touchdown run. Tremendous job of blocking paving the way for the six points. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And this team continues to stake its claim as Super Bowl favorites. They are now eyeing an eight straight win as they begin this drive here in the fourth quarter. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A very nice pickup of 30. 
three yards. And not even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with career touchdown number 109. That ties it with Barry Sanders on the all-time NFL list. And the 49ers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. Wide open receiver complete. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. To throw on second down, Kid. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Picked up by Tamanoa Hufanga. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36 yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at the 36 yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Ready. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Ready. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display. And now they look to polish it off. Throw left side. Complete. That's great. And he will get into the end zone. It's Kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. The drive starts with a run by White. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. And they will take a knee here.
And they'll indeed take a knee. And on now is the punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Here we go, Jack. And they take a knee. Rocco 80. 